From the chaos of the aftermath of Caesar's assassination, one man ultimately emerged from the pack, and that is Octavian. One of history's best kept secrets was the fact that Octavian was named as heir to his great uncle, Julius Caesar. It was something that absolutely stunned the Roman world when the will was made public. A young man, 18, no experience really in any significant domain. Mark Antony would have been the obvious candidate that everybody would have looked to. He was consul, he was famous, he was rich, he was popular with the people, and he would have been looked to and certainly would have regarded himself as being Caesar's natural heir and the right person to take on, take up the reins of running the Caesarian party. Cinco! The renegade Mark Antony has laid siege to the city of Mutina, but salvation is at hand. The Senate sends an army led by the generals Perseus and Panza, the noble patriot, young Caesar Octavian, joins our generals with his own legions to crush the rebels. Cicero quite cleverly recruited Octavian and his army to go and do his fighting for him, assuming he would be able to control the boy thereafter. And he establishes himself in a, a position where he can really bargain. He then does a fabulous vault fast because he realizes he's not strong enough to destroy Antony yet. So what he decides to do instead is to make a friend of his enemy. My father died on this floor. Right there. Stabbed 27 times, butchered by men he called his friends. Who will tell me that is not murder? Who will tell my legions, who love Caesar as I do, that that is not murder? Who will speak against the motion? It was the end of uh, senatorial rule over Rome. Once the triumvirate gets formed, Antony is the most senior partner. There's one forgotten partner, Lepidus. Never really amounted to much. Then there's Octavian. But Antony's the guy with all the, you know, the, the bravado and the backing. Clearly we three cannot all rule together at once. We shall only confuse and contradict each other. True enough. We must divide responsibilities. So what are you proposing? I suggest we divide the territory of Rome into three. Antony was always eyes east. He wanted to look to the east, to the eastern Mediterranean. Good historical reasons for that. The chief reason is, that's where the money was. You should have Rome and the west. And I will make do with Egypt and the eastern provinces. 